For many years, first Christian missionary efforts in India were fruitless. Then it all started to change with the conversion of one man. His name is Krishna Pal. This is his story. Hello. My name is Krishna Pal. You can just call me Pal. I was born in 1764 in Calcutta, India. It was a time of great cultural and social diversity and I grew up surrounded by the vibrant traditions of my homeland. However, my life took a significant turn in 1800 when I was 36 years old. I was working on a carpentry project when I accidentally dislocated my arm. Seeking medical assistance, I went to see a remarkable man named John Thomas, one of the first missionaries to India, and his presence in Calcutta was an opportunity for me to seek help. During my visit, Dr. Thomas introduced me about a disease more deadly than any physical ailment, and that sickness is called sin. As they shared the story of God's salvation, I was deeply moved. I realized the significance of Christian faith, and a month later, in December 1800, I was baptized in the holy waters of the river Ganges by none other than William Carey himself. This sacred act made me the first Bengali convert to Christianity, a momentous occasion that transformed my life forever. As more Hindus began converting to Christianity, Many of my neighbors accused me of betraying my culture, especially that the caste system in our country, where people are socially divided and deal with each other based on hereditary ranks of prestige, many times are not compatible with Christian values. We encountered a lot of opposition and suffered many persecutions because of this. However, with a strong sense of purpose and devotion, I set out to build a house for worship, a place where fellow believers could gather and celebrate their faith. In 1804, my commitment to the ministry led to my ordination, a moment that solidified my role as a messenger of the gospel. Dr. Carey, an esteemed figure in the missionary community, recognized my steadfastness and zeal as I strived to be well-informed and an eloquent minister speaking 12 to 14 sermons every week. Over the years, I had the privilege of baptizing hundreds of converts, witnessing their transformation and growth in the Christian faith. Despite the challenging circumstances, I continued my selfless labor for two decades and later I have a salary of $6 per month. My dedication to serving the people of Calcutta never wavered. In 1822, tragedy struck as I was afflicted with cholera. Until my last breath, I remained devoted to the Lord, in His ministry and to the people of Calcutta. During those twenty years, I also composed hymns, capturing the essence of my faith and translating some from Bengali to English with the help of Joshua Marshman. Among these hymns were The Shipwrecked Sinner Looking to Jesus, O Thou, my soul, forget no more, and salvation by the death of Christ. They served as a testament to my unwavering devotion and the testimony I left behind. 